Having been nominated as a driver today, I'm now going to carry out the vehicle checks, formerly known as the A and B routines. This needs to be done when the engine is cold. <clears throat> the reason being, the fluids become warm, oil in particular will go around the engine, so the reading will not be accurate. I'm going to start by showing you where the bonnet release catches. Okay, so opening on the bonnet, watching my head, make sure it's all the way to the top. First thing I'm going to check is the engine oil. This is located here. Dipstick is red. You need to pull out the dipstick. Make sure you've got a rag. Quite a long dipstick. Keep pulling it. Wipe the end. You've got the minimum and your maximum. All the way back in. And then back out. And now we're checking to see that the oil level is between the minimum and the maximum which it is, just below the maximum. Okay, then coming along the engine then to the header tank for the engine coolant. This has a minimum and a maximum written on the outside. Unfortunately, it's not possible to see through it. So what you need to do, and another reason why we need to do this when it's cold, is because the pressure builds up inside. Always stand to one side, don't stand right in front of it. And then we're just having a look in, which we can see the fluid, it's red. Make sure that is securely back on. That's it for under the bonnet. So when we close it, pull it down gently, and then let it drop. So now we're going to check the tyres on the vehicle. For that, we're going to need a reliable pressure gauge. Just remember, there were two tyres at the front of the vehicle and there are four tyres at the back of the vehicle. So we're looking for general wear and tear on the tyres. That includes any cuts, bumps, bulges, any ply or cord showing. Tread needs to be at least three millimetres across three quarters of the tyre. That's service policy. Got two pressure valves. One down here is for the rear or for the inside tyre, sorry. And then the one up here is for the outer one. The tyre pressures are written above each wheel. So we just attach the gauge, unscrew the cap first, try not to lose the caps. We need to do this uh, when the tyres are cold because air will expand when it's warm and it will give you an inaccurate reading. Okay, and that's at 95, which is exactly what it needs to be. Remember to replace the cap. And then we're gonna screw this cap. And that's at 95 as well. And while I'm here, I'm just going to check visually on the wheel nuts, make sure that we've got equal thread and look for any rust marks coming down, which would indicate that they're loose. Remember, this needs to be done for all the tyres on the vehicle. So now we're going to turn on the ignition, start the engine and then do our light check. So we're going to turn the key forwards, ensure the ignition comes on. Make sure the warning lights go out. You should only be left with the parking light for your handbrake. And then we start the engine. Make sure the gauges are where they need to be. Then we're going to switch on our headlights, our front fog and our rear fog light. Hazard lights. And then we'll get out and do a walk around check. So now we're checking that all the lights are working. So we've got your front fog, your main headlight, and your marker lights at the top. Now Aid will flash the headlights. Now we're looking for main beams on the top bar as well. 
Also checking the other side. Now Aidy's going to do the indicators. So we've got the left and then the right. So checking the indicator here and walking along the vehicle. Indicator, marker light. Another marker light. Another indicator at the top. And then round to the back where you've got another marker light. So at the rear of the vehicle, we're checking side lights, indicator, side lights and indicator. Side light indicator, side lights indicator. Then with the help of a colleague, we'll check the brake lights. So again, we've got four brake lights we need to check. So having checked the normal running lights, it's now time to check the blue lights. Using the pre-check button that is located here, and then we'll walk around and check all the lights are working. So once we're at the front of the vehicle, we're looking for blue repeaters on the grill. Your white repeaters on the new trucks replace the flashing headlights. So if your vehicle is an older vehicle, you need to check the flashing headlights as well. As we go up, we've got your flashing white lights on your sun visor. And then above that, we've got our light bar, which we're checking is alternatively blue. As we come round, we've got a blue light here. So we need to check that one's working. Look it up at the near side seam light. Blue repeater, near side seam light. At this point I'm also checking that all the lockers are secure and down. Any panels which may be open, checking that they are locked and closed. Near side light, blue repeater. So once we're at the rear of the vehicle, we're now looking for the rear reds flashing and the rear blues just above. We're also looking at the rear seam, either side of the gantries. Checking the back door is secure and that the gantries are secure. Then as we come round, you repeat the same process on the offside of the vehicle. 